The Plateau State uh, and National Assembly Election Petition Tribunal nullified the election of Senator Napoleon Bali of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and declared the Minister of Labor and Employment, uh, Simeon Bakola Long, of the All Progressive Congress APC as winner of the Plateau South Senatorial District. Senator Bali's appearance on the morning show has prompted the right of reply from the All Progressive Congress. Joining us now for a right of reply is Honorable Yusuf Gagi, member representing Pashkin Kanken, uh, PKK Federal Constituency uh, of Plato State at the National Assembly and Chairman, House Committee on the Navy. It's a pleasure having you, sir. Let's go straight to it. Uh, Mr. Bali, Senator Napoleon Bali, said a lot, you know, yesterday. At first, one of the things he said was the fact that things were pretty much okay in the PDP. So when they say because things were not okay in the PDP as a strong point against him, he doesn't know what is going on. And he also said he was going to go out there and, you know, push, you know, his case up to the highest level to be able to get justice. And also, at some point in this conversation, I would like to talk to you about insecurity in that area of the plateau, because we need to talk about those things. But reply to some of the assertions he made yesterday. Thank you, Rufai. It's pleasure. my pleasure to engage you in a very peaceful conversation for the first time, and I look forward to meeting you again. But uh, going straight to the subject matter, responding to Senator, distinguished Senator Bali, someone whom I respect as my colleague in the National Assembly, I may not talk about whatever his perspective is regarding to whether he wants to go to law school, to right the wrong, seemingly wrong, that he seems to see in the judiciary or whatever, or the crisis in the PDP, if there is in Plato. My concern here is to talk about his perspective regarding to the judgment. In the first instance, there has been judgment from last week, two weeks ago, by the uh, panel one and panel two, panel one headed by Justice Mahmoud Tukur, and panel two headed by Justice William wrote to me Olamide. Wrote to me, Justice William wrote to me Olamide, they have given more than nine to 10 judgment against the APC. Heaven did not fall in plateau. None of the supporters of APC have come to accuse the judiciary for being bought over or whatsoever by the People's Democratic Party. They were celebrating and they were happy that judgment was given in their favor, even though the APC have his own reservation against those judgments. But because we are a party that respect procedure, we know where to take our cries to. The appeal court is there in the case of the National Assembly and State Assembly election, where if you are not satisfied with the judgment of a tribunal, you can go to the higher court to challenge the position. We kept quiet because we know democracy. Now Justice Tukur gave judgment. He gave further judgment yesterday. Uh, given the mandate of the APC who challenged the PDP in the case of former Governor Simon Bakola Long and now Minister for Labor and Employment, that PDP have no structure. Other judgment we are given yesterday against the PDP, now about four or five judgment, who, whose uh, House of Representatives seat about five have been received by the virtue of panel one judgment headed by Tukur in yesterday evening and afternoon. So I expect that Distinguished Senator Bali and the PDP should not fall the heaven simply because judgment was given not in their favor. Just like jo other tribunal, we cannot accuse Justice William Rotimi for giving judgment to PDP. We can only appeal, uh, uh, approach the appeal court to tell the appeal court we are not, con we are not happy. We, are, we don't agree with the judgment of Justice Rotimi. Instead of coming to media to begin to, democracy doesn't function like that. We must, as lawmakers, respect democratic trinity. We must respect the three tiers of government where you allow the legislative function, the executive function, and the, and the judiciary equally does their job. So more, more, more judgments were coming. But uh, uh, what equally concerned me is appealing to Nigerians as if the, the, the Justice Tukur have no basis for his judgment. A lot of people doesn't know what, it's, what happened in Plato PDP. If you look at, let me start from the top to the bottom. If you look at the recent presidential judgment tribunal that gave judgment recently, there was an aspect that interests me where they said a party cannot challenge nomination of a candidate 
But where there is a judgment against a political party, that another party have the right. It cannot be pre-election matter. Now, let me equally school uh, distinguished Senator Bali, who perhaps he pretend not to know that there were serious judgment against the PDP in Plato State. Recently, the recent one was given on the 5th or 7th of December 2022, where there was a case between Plateau State Independent Electoral Commission and the PDP. Because the Plateau State Independent Electoral Commission, in the case of the local government in Plateau, did not allow PDP to participate in that election based on Justice Kunda's judgment of Plateau High Court that PDP have no structure to stand election. Then the PDP appealed the matter to the Court of Appeal that they are not satisfied with Justice Kunda's position where he declared that PDP have no structure in Plato. The, the, the appeal court ruled against the PDP that yes, PDP are in, in Plato are in fraudulent disobedience to court order. Therefore, they don't have any existing structure that will warrant them stand election in the case of local government election. The matter was taken to Supreme Court. Supreme Court discharged the matter in the favor of, 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 of Plato State Independent Electoral Commission and upheld. They did not upheld. They now say that the matter is dismissed because of the procedural issue. PDP ap approached Supreme Court again to release the matter and, and take it over again. When they approached, the court decided to rule against PDP by upheld the judgment of, this, of the Court of Appeal. Now, you have recently, in 2023, Supreme Court judgment against the PDP that PDP have no structure in Plato. So what is Senator Bali telling Nigerians and, and, and Plato people? Okay, so I, I begin of, to think of, that uh, uh, perhaps, uh, 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 I, 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 okay, I begin to think that perhaps when, when a judge, when a tribunal give judgment in favor of PDP in Plato, all is well. Heaven will okay, not okay. fall. Uh, Everywhere so will be quiet. Uh, but as soon as honorable. another tribunal give judgment against PDP, it is an issue. So, Honorable, one of his defense that he put forward was, you know, the Justice SP gang, you know, that made an order directing the first defendant and to take all steps to conduct, you know, for the PDP executive committee members in Plateau State in accordance with provisions. And that's why I deliberately did ask him during the show yesterday that who was the party chairman when you did your primary. He said it. I said, what kind of delegates? He said it. Because that question I asked him yesterday was to also be able to establish an argument was, around was PDP as a solitary unit? Rufai, was everybody Rufai, you know, Rufai, together? Rufai, Rufai, Rufai I, I, I respect your capacity when it comes to public opinion. But I don't think on this, uh, 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 Senator, distinguished Senator Bali was right. When, when, when the court make a pronouncement and judgment against APC in Zampara. Was there no party chairman in Zampara? The fact that party chairman existed and superintended over an illegal process that a court order was not respected doesn't mean that the process is legal and legitimate. It's illegitimate. It's not legal. It's because uh, it's not the existence of the party chairman that legitimized the process. But the contention is, was the party chairman himself existing on the platform of legality? Or was he just there as a product of uh, clear disobedience to court order? So this is what we should be looking at, not because a party chairman existed and therefore they will think that uh, the process. And again, Justice Gang he is talking about. Me and you knows that about the court of law in Nigeria, which one is the last level when it comes to supremacy. It's the Supreme Court of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I've just cited a judgment for you. In 2023, from 7th, 5th, 2022 to 2023, now, do you, would you relate, will you correlate the judgment of the High Court and the judgment of the Supreme Court, who seems to nullify all the other previous judgments? Again, in those judgments he's talking about in the, in the, in the High Court and, 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 and Court of Appeal, we have 12 judgments. Only one judgment was in favor of PDP. All other judgments were saying that PDP have no structure in Plato. And the lawyers have argued that in the court of law. So my own, where I got lost is, I think, uh, I think with utmost respect to distinguished senator, democracy is not a military administration. You need to learn more about the rudiments of democracy because it, 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 we have a tribunal 
We have court of appeal. If there is a judgment given against you, we don't need to incite the public. We've seen what is going on in the various social media in Plato. You are talking about security, which we will go there. And I'll equally ask question regarding to distinguished Senator Bali. Why do we need to, to hit the polity when there were judgment against APC? APC did not cry, did not say anything. We say we are approaching the court of appeal. If there is judgment against PDP, I don't think it is right for us to. Now, now let me give you another example in Plato. There was a by-election in Plato in 2022, in the same uh, Plato where tribunal was put in place, matter was taken to the tribunal, and the tribunal ruled using the, 20, the present electoral act against the PDP, declaring that the person that won the election in 2022 should not stay in the House of Representatives because PDP have no structure. The matter was appealed. Appeal court in just still upheld the decision of the high court, saying that PDP doesn't have structure in Plato State. Recently in 2022, they are all blinded by some of those recent judgments. We are trying to bring some other all sort of sentiment that doesn't right. need, need to be brought. We have people. All right, Honorable um, Gagde, thank you very much. You already um, have started speaking about what I'd like to ask you with regards to what's going on in Plateau State. You say that the outcome or perhaps um, Senator Bali's response could potentially hit up an already heated polity in Plateau State. But tell us, what's, the, what's going on in the, in the five local government areas that have been plagued with conflicts in Plateau State? And what's in six um, local government areas. And what is, you know, what are you doing in your capacity as a representative um, in, the, in the House and also um, working with the state government to address these issues? Well, uh, heating up the polity first to go into security. I'm not surprised because Senator Bali once appeared here to say that politicians are the ones sponsoring Plato crisis that till today we are waiting for him to mention the names of those politicians that are sponsoring. That comment was not expected of a distinguished senator. But again, as my colleague in the National Assembly, I'm still waiting to hear when Senator Bali will help the governor by mentioning to the governor who is working hard to ensure there is peace in Plato, that these are the politicians that are sponsoring crisis in Plato. To talk about insecurity in Plato, let me sound like him for the first time. I think I'm qualified to talk about that. As a deputy speaker in Plato State, I was chairman special committee on peace and security in Plato for almost two years. I've gone to all the four angles of Plato to interact with the communities, the parties involved in the crisis in Plato. So I know more to the Plato crisis, perhaps more than some of them. But again, when you have a situation where you need to come together to work as a people, the government need to equally bring people on board to show their own support for that. I cannot do anything above what the governor is doing. What I am doing is to continue to appeal to people, to intervene where I am supposed to intervene. The crisis in Plato affected me. But to allow politicians come and begin to play politics with the life of the people is very unfortunate. What, am I, what do I mean by that is, in 2021, 22, 21, my community, Kanam, which is part of my constituency. I represent three local government, Panshin Kanke Kanam Federal Constituency. In one day, bandit killed 147 people. I respected the role played by Arise TV to have followed me to the scene of the incident. All those people that were killed belong to one faith. I knew the teaching trouble I have passed through, what we are still passing through with isolated attacks caught across Plato. But we don't need to come and present the situation as if it is one community that is being affected. These six local government you are mentioning to me, what about the Kanam local government, the local government I represented, that in one day, not in two weeks, 147 people were killed, massacred in one day by bandits. Nobody is talking about it. But again, plateau people are plateau people. I am a plateau man, take it or leave it. I am from Kanam local government, one of the 776 four local government in Nigeria. And if Kanam is part of plateau, take it or leave it, I am a plateau man. But what we want to say is, if government want collective approach to issue of crisis, let that symptom be seen. You have seen a situation whereby the governor of plateau state have headed and let other members of the National Assembly to visit security agencies. I chair House Committee on Navy. Navy is an armed forces committee. I was not approached at any instance 
to support the governor in reaching out to stakeholders in Nigeria on how we can support him to ensure that there is peace in Plateau. So the role I will play is limited to a member representing a constituency. Whenever the need arises and the governor behave like the former governor Lalong, that call stakeholders that will come to Abuja, call representative at the National Assembly, irrespective of political party. But if you come to Abuja and isolate members of the House of Representatives from PDP, call senators from PDP to accompany you to visit the services where I am chairing one of the services. You don't expect me to go to where I'm not needed to contribute in terms of the peace process in Plato. The only thing I will do is to discharge my constitutional responsibility as a parliament to ensure that legal framework are put in place that will reduce some of the things we are seeing in Plato Honorable. to the barest minimum. Honorable. The crisis in Plato is not against an individual. It is not against an, it's against the entire Plateau people. And we are Plateau people. We must be seen to be committed to come together as one, to approach those circumstances. But as a member, I have told you, I'm limited to my participation in trying to contribute, help the governor, like you asked, to bring about peace until and unless I am being approached as a stakeholder in the Plateau project who is representing a constituency in the National Honorable Gagde, if you can that. hear but me. When you see the governor, uh, yes, very well, Dr. Ruben. Yeah, we're trying to manage time. First a comment, and then I'll add something else to it. And it's as follows. I guess earlier on you were moralizing. The PDP may not uh, bring down the roof if the uh, court rules against it. Uh, the APC rather. So maybe the reaction of the PDP side of, of it may be uh, 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 different, okay? I think it's important to make that uh, clarification. And yesterday, uh, Senator Napoleon Bali made it very clear that it will go to the Court of Appeal. And if the Court of Appeal still rules against him, then of course, you know, he will accept it. But his main point, and where I thought he was coming from, was that Justice Yusuf, uh, uh, the panel led by Justice Tuko, led by Justice Tuko, decided that the petitioners, claiming that, uh, you know, the PDP had no structure, that they could not prove over voting, they could not prove non-compliance with electoral laws. So the major issue that uh, you know, the, the decision was based upon was this idea about PDP not having structure and the candidate uh, from Plateau State not having been validly nominated. And that's why he was quoting Justice Olamide, Rutimi Olamide Justice, to say that the position of Justice Olamide in another matter was quite different from that of it. So I guess that's where it's coming from. But you may want to further clarify that. Finally, yes. you, you've been talking about plateau people. <laughs> but, but, just hold on, just hold on. You've okay. been talking about, but, because we're trying to manage time, so, so that you can take the two, you know, quickly. Then you were talking about plateau people being the same. The first lady, Mrs. Uh, Remy Tinumbu, was in plateau with the uh, first lady of Imo State to donate 500 million uh, to 500 affected families as a result of the conflict. What's your reaction uh, to that? Some people have been cynical, they've been saying, where is the First Lady's NGO getting 500 million from? But we thought, well, this is a demonstration of empathy. But what do you feel they, about they that should, intervention? Uh, to start from bottom, to start from, to, to start from the intervention before coming to the perspective of Bali that you want me to seek clarification. If people are asking where is that NGO getting 500 million to donate to victims of Plateau crisis, they should equally be asking the intervention that federal government have sent to Plateau, where have they been distributed? Who benefited from those interventions? If uh, the first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria will go to Plateau and donate 500 million, people should not query where the NGO got his money. If you want right petition against her, let the investigative agency investigate the source of her money that she went to donate to. But what interests Plateau people, including the governor, is the fact that the first lady have gone to, uh, you know, donate something on behalf of the, her NGO to support people that are facing teaching trouble as a result of crisis in Plateau. And we commend her. I would rather ask those people questioning the legitimacy of that source to question Plateau state government. Intervention has been given 
other state have displayed their own. Uh, ours was given to perhaps illegal structure that doesn't exist, that are not recognition of court order, TIC chairman to share, which you don't even know where those resources have been uh, taken to. So we should be able to uh, hold the governor of Plato accountable for where the five billion naira, whether it is loan or not loan, intervention or not intervention, where the trucks of rice that, that were sent to 36 states of the federation were given to instead of costing a genuine effort of the first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Secondly, on the issue of uh, Bali was saying he is going to court. I don't have problem with Bali's submission, Senator Bali's submission here. Where I have problem is he disagree. If you disagree, approach the court. I have made my position equally very clear here. On behalf of the APC in Nigeria, not only in Plato. I'm speaking on, in this circumstance for APC in this country regarding to Plato tribunal issue. We had similar judgment. We didn't suspect and begin to come to media and say things that will not bring the people together. Can you say that the judgment of Justice Olamide Williams is the right judgment because it suits you? Where Justice Tukur gave judgment contrary to your expectation, then it requires us, did we come to media to discuss the judgment of Justice uh, Olamide, about nine judgments or ten that were against APC? We didn't. And when you come, we need decorum. We will give instances. The, the, the case you have in the lower tribunal or lower court, high court, cannot pretend over the position of the, of, 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 of the, of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. I've just cited example to you. I'm here to, to equally tell the world, tell Nigerians, that there are existing cases that Justice Tuku rely on, including the case of the Supreme Court recently of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bali, Senator Bali is talking about one appeal court judgment. I am here talking to you about 12 different judgments against the PDP, which has been used in the court of law, which have been justified by our lawyers, and the tribunal deemed fit that in the case of where Williams gave judgment against us, we will not come to media to, well, on that to say all sorts of things that we want to say. We will approach appeal court. We have approached the appeal court, okay. and the appeal court will do the needful. Where they think that the judgment of Williams stand, they will say it stand. Where they feel that Williams did err in law by giving that judgment. Well. Future time shall tell. Honorable Yusuf Gagde, we would like to thank you very much for joining us on the morning show.